Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be making this super simple ramen recipe. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, we do cheat a little bit here and we are using a packet instant ramen, but don't let that put you off. The flavor that we add to it is absolutely phenomenal. And once you've tried it, you'll do it this way every single time. Now we don't add too many ingredients to it, but the ones that we add just had a nice umami taste to it. And it's absolutely fantastic. You've got to give this one a try. So to start off with, we're going to hard boil some eggs for six and a half minutes. That will leave them nice and soft and gooey in the middle, but it will hold the structure. So once they've had six and a half minutes, just run them under some cold water and obviously take the shell off. And what we're going to do now is make a nice marinade for the eggs just to add some flavor. So I start off, you want to use about a cup of some light soy sauce. And then you're going to want to add about a quarter cup of some cooking wine. Now this is a Chinese cooking wine, you can get it from most supermarkets. What you want to do then is put your eggs in there so that it's submerged. Now ideally you want to leave these eggs for at least four hours. Um, that way it takes on a load of flavour, but I only did mine for about an hour. Just top that up with some water. Now we're going to get on to the absolutely pièce de la résistance of this recipe, and that's the steak. So I'm using a sirloin steak here. It's about an inch thick. And we're just going to add some really super simple seasoning to it. So as with any steak, make sure you really season it well with some salt. This is a nice coarse sea salt. Some black pepper. And then I'm just going to put a sprinkling of some Chinese five spice. Now the Chinese five spice you put on is entirely up to your preference. I just put a little sprinkle on the top. And don't forget to season both sides of your steak. That's really important to impart the flavour. So into a screaming hot pan, we're going to cook this steak for probably about three to four minutes on each side. Obviously it fully depends on your preference about how you like your steak cooked. But what I'm doing here is cooking mine to medium because I like to have it a little bit pink and blushing in the middle, but not blood everywhere. So once my steak's had about 3-4 minutes each side, like I say I'm going for medium so I'm aiming for about 53 degrees Celsius. Best way to cook a steak is just to use one of these probes, that way you get it perfection every time. So now that my steak is at temperature, what I'm going to do is take it off to rest. Really important that you rest the steak for a good 20 minutes afterwards. So now we're going to get on with making the actual ramen. Now the broth in a ramen is always the most important thing. So again with the soy sauce. This is organic miso paste. Some water and obviously your instant ramen. So I'm going to add to one litre of boiling water, I'm just going to add one teaspoon of the miso paste, about a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then about a teaspoon of some sesame oil. Now inside the packet ramen with this one, you get a little sachet of some seasoning oil, you've got a sachet of some seasoning powder, and obviously your instant ramen noodles. All we want to do is when this is coming up to the boil, is just add both your packets into there. And then obviously add your noodles. Now follow the instructions on the packet, but they probably only take about two to three minutes to cook these noodles. Doesn't take very long at all. So once your noodles are cooked, we're just going to take them out and put them into a nice deep ramen bowl. Don't add your broth at this stage yet. Oh, look at that beautiful pink steak in the middle. This steak tastes absolutely delicious with that fire spice on the outside. It's so tender and juicy in the middle. Get yourself a thermometer, guys. It's worth it. So now we're plating up. I'm just going to add some green onions. I add one of my marinated eggs. Now, like I say, if you did marinate this for longer, then obviously it would be darker and more flavorful. Add some slices of that beautiful steak. And then you just want to start pouring your broth over the top. Honestly guys, you've got to give this recipe a go. I just finished this off with some fresh coriander at the end. 
And that is pretty much it. That is so easy and that is how you make an instant ramen. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become part of the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.